Hey guys, this is Joe. Carrie. And we are the paranormal side. Today we are in New Bern, North Carolina, and this is the John Wright Stanley house. This is the house that I had my shirt pulled on uh, the first time. I thought I'd seen something peeking around the stairway, and before I knew it, uh, my shirt was being pulled on. It's starting to sprinkle right now, but we're going to try to get a, a nighttime investigation uh, the best we can here in the backyard. Uh, of the John Wright Stanley house. So uh, if you can, stay tuned and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the paranormal side. The John Wright Stanley home was built in the early 1780s. John Wright Stanley's home is quite famous because of the political duel with Richard Dobbs Spate in New Bern in 1802 and by John Wright Stanley winning, winning the duel. In the 19th century, the Stanley's fortune started to dwindle, and their home was sold. And some of the descendants of Richard Dobbs Spate lived in the John Wright Stanley home, and that is why, where many believe that all the noise is coming from, from the continued John Wright Stanley and Richard Dobbs Spate's fight. Another theory is that Louis Amistad, who grew up in the Stanley's home, who became a famous Confederate general. He led the ill-fated Pickett's Charge at Cemetery Ridge in Gettysburg in 1863. He was mortally wounded behind Union lines. After the Civil War battle in New Bern in 1862, General Ambrose Burnside established his headquarters in the John Wright Stanley House. Many say the Amistad spirit has come back to rid his house of Yankee occupants. Many who go on the tour of the house speak about being pushed or pinched by something unseen. Many guests have spoken of having seen a ghostly figure in the empty rooms of the house and some have even said they have seen the ghostly figure of President George Washington. It's alleged that George Washington slept in the home when he visited New Bern in 1791. Even some of the security guards don't like to go into the house alone. Many have reported voices and sounds of footsteps when no one is in the John Wright Stanley home. And many have even been taking photographs of the John Wright Stanley house at night and their lens captured images of ghostly figures looking out the windows and all kinds of crazy weird lights in their pictures with no other light sources. Heck, I even had an experience while I was on tour of this house. I thought I seen a ghostly figure peek around the stairway and as soon as I focused on the stairway with my eyes, my shirt was pulled with no one standing close enough to pull my shirt. With that being said, I hope that you give us a like and you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I think I was wearing the same shirt that I am now. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. 
as I was on tour, when we walked in from the front, this is the back door. Um, I looked up and I thought I seen something peek around the corner of the stairway. Well, as I did, something grabbed my shirt and pulled it like this, and there was a guy beside me, but he was three or four feet away from me. And I never asked him if he'd done it, but as I was reading about this place, that's one of the things that supposedly happens in this place. Get your shirt pulled on or things like that. So we decided to come here and do a little EVP session and uh, also a spirit box. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I got the K2 right here. Kind of hold it up a little bit so that way if it goes off, maybe y'all can see it also. All right, we're gonna do the spirit box first. John Wright Stanley, are you here with us right now? This device right here is used to help you speak. If anybody is here with us right now, any spirits here with us, this device will help you speak to us. Also, we have a recording device right next to the door. And if you come around, we might be able to tell your presence with this device right here. My name is Joe. And I'm Carrie. And what we do is we go around and try to find out, see if there's any proof of afterlife. Is anyone here wanting to speak with us right now? What is wrong with it, man? I don't know. Is that I've never heard it do that before. We'll get right quick. Let's go. That is odd. That's weird. Let's try doing this. Something in the and we did it with I don't know if it's the batteries or what. It, they are kind of low, but. I ain't never heard it make a whistling noise. Just the microphone doing it. <clears throat> that is odd. I've never heard the microphone make a noise like that. And I charged it all night last night, too. All right. Try this again. Anyway, let's give that up. Get it. All right, we're going to give up the spirit box. Sorry about that. We're just going to rely off the old fashioned EVP. All right, John Stanley, are you still here with us right now? How about if we knock on your door, would you come out and speak with us? Can you knock back? How do you feel about Richard Dobbs? Straight. I think that's how it's pronounced the name. What were some of the stories with this? There you go, there you go. Are you here with us? Anybody here with us right now? Yeah. 
the little boy, John Stanley, Robert, anyone here that would like to talk? Can you tell us your name at all? Robert, why did you and John Stanley fight for? Can you give us any kind of sign? Can you light this K2 up for us? Let, it, let us know that you're here. It did light up. Can you light it up all the way for us? Can you come over and touch this device? That's good. That's good. Can you do it any more though? It is going off. Yes, yes. Can you keep doing that? Make it go all the way to this line right here. Come over and put all your energy into that. If you can, please. That way we know that you're really here with us. <clears throat> I have a question. Can I ask you a question? Anybody, whoever is here? Can you let us know what your name is, first of all? How old are you? Did you see it light up? Mm -hmm. We have a recording device in the camera. You can either speak really into the camera or you can speak into the device that I have on the floor. Either or, we may be able to hear you speak to us. Can you tell us what it's like to be on the other side? of life after you pass? John Stanley, is that you? Is it anybody else? If it's not John Stanley, can you light this device up for me? Somebody pulled my shirt. Did you see that? Somebody pulled my shirt at this place. Can you tell me who that was about a year ago? What was your name? Why are you still here? Are you trapped? You know, this house is not on the original foundation. They moved it over a block or so. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Well, we appreciate it. <clears throat> we're going to get on out of here. Thanks for speaking with us. We hate to leave like this, but we got to get on out of here. Hello. I gotta lock up. Yeah. Now we can just take a picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were wondering if anybody was gonna come around. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. We didn't leave anything up there. Nope. guys we kind of had to end it kind of short on that investigation well first of all all for spirit box is kind of acting kind of funny and also um they were try trying to close up the gates for tonight so the guy come around security man came around and told us that he was locking up so we figured we would go ahead and cut it kind of short sorry about that 
but uh, we were going to ask a few more questions and we may actually try to come back one other day some other time soon but uh, we appreciate you and uh, we hope you enjoyed this film yeah, I know it was a little short and it wasn't much of an investigation but all right then thank you and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe to the paranormal side and we appreciate y'all. And don't forget, you're never alone in the dark.